Hey guys, Jim Olivier with the Cajun Claw. How y'all doing today? Yeah, if you got just a minute, I'd sure like to show you what this Cajun Claw can do for you. And it doesn't matter if the fish you're catching are six ounces or 60 pounds. But uh, let's start off with the small fish and then we'll work our way to the big ones, okay? We've all been here before. Small fish, small mouth, large appetite. They have an uncanny way of being able to take a small hook and suck it way in. The problem is with a pair of pliers, if you grab here, you're grabbing where you just tied your string. If you grab here, you're destroying the lure itself. And if you finally are able to grab hold of that hook, you've got such limited space to work with that you just kind of got to rip it out of the flesh. Remember guys, with the Cajun Claw, you never injure the line, never injure the lure, and most importantly, you never injure the fish. It's important at this time to remind you that with the Cajun Claw, all the metal parts are made out of hardened stainless steel so that they don't rust, they're very strong and very durable. This allows us to make the small folding shaft only 1 16th of an inch thick for 3 quarters of an inch making it possible for you to get into places that no hook removal tool has ever been before. So you have two ways that you can take a small hook out of a small fish. If the fish is in no trouble, you can simply take the shaft, slide it underneath the lure, bypass the string, get to the bend of the hook, and just gently and easily pop it out of the flesh. It's pretty simple. But what if that fish were in real trouble? Let's just say it was in a gill, or it's entering the stomach. Uh, you might want to take a different route. This is when I introduce you to the line trap. Just simply slide your string onto the top of the rubber wheel, spin backwards one time, and now that string is caught in a line trap. It's caught in the very top of this little hole here. Don't worry about the string anymore. Enter into the fish's mouth, find a bend of the hook, spin the wheel backwards which automatically advances and tightens the string and holds tension. Use your two opposing fingers, one fits in this front cavity and the other one on top of the roller and now game's over. You are in total control of that hook. So now instead of ripping it out of the flesh you're just going to gently and easily back it out doing absolutely no damage at all to the flesh. You have total control of that hook at this point, meaning it's not going to rehook inside the fish all the way outside the fish. Pretty smooth, huh? This shaft will get you up to about a pound fish, whether it's a rainbow, brown, bass, catfish. But when you start dealing with fish that require the use of larger hooks, swap out that small fold-in shaft for the larger stationary shaft. I'm going to use a two-aught hook for this next demonstration, but the stationary shaft will go all the way from the smallest fly bait all the way up to an eight-aught hook, which is basically a shark hook. For this demonstration, we're going to say that this fish has swallowed the hook. Because he's in trouble, we're going to go into the line trap. This is how quickly you can get into the line trap. All right, I'm there. I'll enter the mouth. I'll pass up the gills work my way into the gullet and then I just want to vibrate the end backwards and forwards and in doing so it's eventually going to hit the metal and align itself. Now just as we did previously advance the string use your two opposing fingers and bam you've never been in this position before in your life. You're inside the stomach of a fish but yet you have total control. It's like your hand is sitting on that hook and if it were, you would just simply push it forward rather than with pliers where you're going to rip it out. With this here, you're just going to gently and easily wiggle it back and forth and it's going to come out. It actually makes a little popping noise when it comes out. You'll hear it. Now, we need to make this instrument weedless so it doesn't rehook on the way out. And all we do is release the index finger, reel the string back, slide that index finger up, and you'll notice it pins the point of the hook to the claw. Now all you've got to do is just back it out. I love my hand here, but it's not gonna catch me because it's now weedless. No other hook removal system could have done what you just saw. 
And it doesn't matter if it was the stomach, the gill, the eye of the fish, or even your own arm. Nothing takes a hook out of flesh as gentle as a Cajun claw. That alone would make this tool pretty special, right? But what if I told you that it does a lot of other things that a pair of pliers just can't do? Like it's more powerful than a pair of pliers, and it takes hooks out faster than a pair of pliers. You would not use pliers to remove a rusty bolt off of a piece of metal. You'd use a ratchet. Take a look at the Cajun Claw. It is a ratchet made out of hardened stainless steel. Use it that way. And it doesn't matter if it's a single hook, double hook, or a tri hook. The Cajun Claw is faster and more powerful. But when you need one, you have an instrument which allows you to surgically go in and take a hook out of a fish no matter where. Even comes with a surgical light that allows you to see because you're going into places that you've never been before and releasing fish that you've never been able to release before. Along with the portable strap, safety cap, and carrying pouch, and over 40 minutes of instructional videos on our website to teach you exactly how to use this instrument. Buy your Cajun Claw today and enjoy many years of responsible fishing in the future. Thank you.